Hi guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Melissa Gorga and Margaret Joseph are over Jennifer Aiden's antics and say she's the worst housewife ever. Okay guys, this is my first time doing my video um, without my ring light, okay? People are saying that my videos are too light. I have, a w I have windows on every wall in my office except for this one wall. And... Um, it's really bright in here, but I want, and I use a ring light because everybody use a ring light. It's supposed to make you look beautiful. And so, but when I turn my ring light on, they say, you look like a ghost. So let's try it the first time without any extra light, but the light in the room. Um, I'm not liking this by the way, but it is what it is. It doesn't matter anyway, my lighting. We gotta get to this damn story. It's insane people, it's insane. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it out there before we get into the video. I like Jennifer Aiden. Is that bad? I mean, no one likes her. I'm the only one who likes her. I mean, I love her. I know she is a, you know, pain in the ass. I got it. I got it. But I just like her. I think she makes the show better. You never know what she's going to say. I mean, could she be my best friend? No. But she's great television in my opinion and i like some kind of drama people okay so we get rid of the intense drama like danielle that's like too intense too personal but we need some kind of drama and that's where jennifer aiden comes in at least in my opinion but it's just in my opinion because according to melissa and margaret they're over her so you remember on this week's episode when everyone was at the table and Teresa admitted that she, it's financially very difficult for her and how people don't understand. And then Margaret said, yes, I relate. I'm going through my own financial troubles. They're, they both have to pay attorneys. Teresa has to pay attorneys for Joe and Margaret's being sued. Well, I think it's over, but at the time she was being sued and she was like, no, I get it. I get it. It's very, very hard. And then Jennifer chimes in doing what she does best, you know, sticking her nose in places it shouldn't be. And she says, um, yeah, but it's probably harder for Teresa than it is you because, you know, you have a husband. <laughs> And Margaret got pissed. <laughs> Margaret was like, me and Teresa were bonding. And then here comes Jennifer. Okay. <laughs> Listen. I mean, she's got, that's what she does, people. You know, she always talks about the, you know, unimportant things at the most important times. That's what she does. Okay. That's the beauty in Jennifer Aiden. So, um, but they're, now they're saying bad things about her in interviews. Okay. And then also at the table, <laughs> Jennifer said, um, how hard her life was. And Margaret was like, you don't really do much. You know, you're just a stay-at-home mom. And Jennifer was like, I'm a stay-at-home mom to five children. Now listen, Margaret, listen. Does Margaret have any children? She does, oh, stepchildren. You might be past the little kid's age, but that's a lot of work, okay? I don't like when people disrespect stay-at-home moms. It is a lot of work. But according to uh, Melissa Gorga, who really does not make the blogs. Remember, this channel is for losers only, okay? Unless you cause trouble, I don't want to talk about you. So I really don't talk about Melissa Gorga much. And so this is out of the ordinary for her to come out and throw shade. This is what she does. She's throwing shade, people. So Melissa Gorga is outing her. She was like, well, she really doesn't do that much. She has three nannies <laughs> and uh, her mother to help. Now, is that fair? Melissa Gorga, is that fair saying that she doesn't work as hard as any the the rest of you guys with small children because she has three nannies? I mean, I mean, it kind of does make a little bit of sense, just just a little bit, just a little bit. I mean, she's still a mom, okay? So you know, it's hard to order those nannies around. Okay, yeah, there's no defending Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer, I'm gonna need you to shut up. Okay, just shut up. Stop bragging about everything that you have. Okay. This, see, you bring this on yourself. You brag about how big your house is. You know, you live in the Taj Mahal. Um, you talk about how much money you have. You talk about other people's money. You're making it where people don't cannot feel sympathy for you, okay? I'm the only one. I think I'm the only one at this point. Like, I think it could be hard staying at home, you know, having your nannies watch the children. <laughs> That's so mean. Jennifer, you brought it on yourself by talking about what you have all the time. Jennifer is so excited and so happy to be rich from her husband's money and has gotten used to it. You know, they've been married a long time that, you know, she's 
what I call unrelatable at this point. She forgets what it's like. At least I think. I don't know if she's putting on what it's like to, you know, not have a nanny, have dishes in the sink. You're running around the house chasing one kid. Just one is a lot of work. Just one. Especially if you have like a rambunctious kid like I did. My little boy, he was just all over the place. It, my little son, he used to always take black permanent markers. He was two. I, I really think he was doing this when on purpose like he wanted to drive me crazy and mark on the walls when I wasn't looking and then you know run off and then I'd scrub and scrub and scrub and have to repaint because it's hard to get off permanent marker especially when light walls they had like cream walls it's a lot of work with one kid okay she's forgotten what that's like you know you could take naps during the day when you have three nanny three Jennifer I'm so sorry I feel bad for you you for have forgotten what it's like to be a commoner but you need to shut up about it because you are getting on Melissa and Margaret's nerves okay they're calling you one of the worst housewives on the show the worst I mean worse than Danielle and Beverly aka Beverly like how can you be worse than an alleged prostitute okay but I guess according to them you know she's one of the worst housewives on that show so I mean and according to Melissa Gorga, it doesn't get any better on the reunion, okay? They, she says on the reunion, she gets into it the most with Jennifer. I mean, I feel really bad. I do. You guys are misjudging her. You guys are jumping the gun and labeling her, you know, annoying and the worst. The worst, Margaret, the worst, really? Okay, so uh, Melissa goes on to say, she just doesn't make any sense. I'm like, what are you saying? I think Jennifer and I go at it. I would say the most at the reunion. Listen, I see this double team forming, okay? You guys need to back up off Jennifer just a little bit, okay? Does she say annoying things? Yes. Is she a pain in the ass? Yes. Does she think she's better than everyone? Yes. I mean, but those aren't that bad, is it? I mean, is that bad? Okay, so listen, Jennifer. In all honesty, you are bringing this on yourself. And I have a feeling the girls are going to sort, uh, like sort you out during the reunion. And then if you really don't cut it out, you might become a storyline for them. Like they will come after you, okay? And like Melissa Gorga says, I'm a pro at this. I've been doing this for years. She has been doing it for years. Like try to like balance your, you know, what do you call it? Like jerkness? Yeah. Can you balance your jerkness out with, you know, a little humbleness and try to come back down to earth, you know, with the rest of us? Hello. It's not bad down here. You know, I kind of like it. But at the end of the day, I see alliances forming and it doesn't look too good for Jennifer, at least not in my opinion. But as I say in every video, we all have our different opinions and that just happens to be mine. So what I want to know today in my comment section is who likes Jennifer? Okay. I cannot be the only one, people. I cannot be the only one. Some of you have to like her. I'm going to need you guys to speak up. Also, if you like this video, please don't forget to click that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.